Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Dozens of students signed up as newly registered voters on Tallahassee Community College's campus Tuesday. The vote counts here. Similar events were held statewide and across the country to mark National Voter Registration Day. Voter Outreach Assistant Susie Kaplow says it's important, especially before presidential election primary. There is a point when you get interested. For some people, the signs in, are going up in, in the yards or on the roads, and it's like, oh, there's an election happening. Um, you know, so uh, it's just good to try to just make sure that everybody ha who can can vote and has the opportunity to vote. 19 year old Cheyenne Hernandez registered and she'll be voting for the first time. I think it's important. Um, I think if you're you have the opportunity to and you're old enough, then you should. Um, the president, obviously, it's um, important to everybody. It affects everybody. TCC Civic Engagement Coordinator Ryan Rogers says melting pots like college campuses are always good places to get people to register. It's the biggest uh, thing that we always try to advocate for students with our SGA, making sure that students feel like they have a voice and they have a say so in what's going on around them. Pen and paper registration may become a thing of the past as Florida heads to an online system in 2017. The next statewide election is the presidential preference primary in March. The Republican Party of Florida is currently in the middle of creating a new rule that would require presidential candidates who want to be on that ballot to attend the party's Sunshine Summit in November. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.